I know there were really, really musical miners in my family, on my mum's side, my great granddad Wall, and I'm just fascinated to know how how they they got their music out of themselves, how they developed musically. I can't understand how how the miners would have the resources left to find music, to look for it, to, to, to train. And yet, on the other hand, goodness, they have to, don't they? There has to be some chink of light. I mean, the, the, the sort of sensory deprivation that there is in the pit is so complete that I can imagine you'd actually be desperate to find music. Miners had this dogged determination, this inward kind of steel, if you like, that got them through every day. And yet, if you, if you put any miner, probably in the world, in front of a brass band and let that band play, there'll be tears, there'll be tears in their eyes. And long after the pits have closed, the music carries on. Band leader and former miner, Phil Dickens, still spends his evenings teaching the local brass band. The Dennington Colliery Band is over a hundred years old and still going strong. Leslie wants to find out how its members were taught music as children, in the hope that she'll better understand her great-grandfather, William. I've just wanted to talk to you all about how you came to be musicians and how you learnt in the first place. When we started, they didn't give you an instrument. They gave you a mouthpiece. Just a mouthpiece? Just and told you how to blow it. Yeah. To the and what to do with the tongue. And as soon as we could play on the mouthpiece, they invited us in to the band to start learning. There were no printing books of that. Oh, no. no. So it's all passed uh, on hand yeah. to know. I've never had any professional tuition, you know, on theory side. Yeah. It's things what you just pick up and learn, you know, over years. Yeah. I learned my music like that from my grandparents, and that was how William passed music on to my grandfather. And that's obviously the tradition that I'm part of and that is still continuing, and that just makes me so happy. According to family legend, Leslie's great grandfather William, with no formal musical training, taught his son Colin to play the piano to such a high standard that he became the first professional musician in the family. <laughs> 